friend, this is Vivian from Rachel Seven Star to School. I wanted to um <clears throat> excuse me share this channel with you. Um, I had an issue where I had a long list of provider data and it was enormous, like thousands of lines. And um, I only needed the NPI and I only needed the last name. Um, and I couldn't think of any way to do it easily in our system. So I was just like, the, the, you know, the uh, light bulb went off and I said, Murph, let's do it with Murph. So what I did was I created this channel and I wanted to share it with you and you'll find it in the link below. But let's go ahead and take a look. It's called JSON to CSV. I'm taking the JSON and I'm extracting the NPI, extracting the last name and putting it into a CSV. So I could take the CSV and analyze the data in MRF. I'm gonna do that all right now. So let, before we do it though, let me show you what the channel is doing. If you go into the source transformer, I have a JSON coming in and a CSV going out. Now, um, you can see that my JSON just has a provider last name and the provider NPI. So you put that up here in the template. Then down here for the CSV, um, I only needed, again, you know, it's a comma delimited, so I, um, I have column one and column two, and I just kept copying it down. Um, but actually, I don't think you even need this, you probably only really need one, but anyway, digress. So what you want to, the important thing here to know is that there are two columns, column one and column two. So this would be uh, provider NPI, so what a, this would be like the number, this would be like the last name, right? Like that, that's what it actually would look like. But I just put the values one and two in there just to, just to be, to put something in there. But the important thing here is to go to properties and go to column names, and that's how you can see this. Um, the column names are provider NPI and provider last. So whatever you put, whatever's on, uh, on the first column, the NPI, second column, last name. So for instance, we go to the first row, it would be number one here, number two here, number one here, number two here. And that's all I changed here. I didn't change any of the, the serialization or serialization except for the column names. I just want to give you, show you that real quickly. And you can see what's going on here. I added a step as a for each an iterator. So I'm going through my var iterator variable is I. You can see, wow, yeah, Murph does this all for you. So it's so cool. So I added a step called iterator. And then I added another step and put it underneath the for each. Called it provider NPI. You can call this anything you want. And I change it. To message builder and then what I do is in the mapping section I I drag the NPI in here and then change this to I so just so you know how I, I did it and then from over here I took the first row and I grabbed the NPI and then same thing I changed this to I because I is a variable and I is going to be what's looping through and I is going to be the number of, of rows it's going to build. So as long as both your method segment and your mapping have the variable i in it from the for each, this should work. All right, so that's what my source transformer looks like. And that's it, no filters, no nothing. I just a channel reader because I just I'm send manually sending in the data for purpose of demonstration. My, it's a channel writer so that it goes nowhere in there, and here's where I just typed in provider NPI. So this is, what, this is what my CSV is going to look like. I want it to have a header of provider NPI, and I want to have a header of, of a provider last name, and I'm going to stick in my message encoded data. And that this message encoded data should be what's in here, right? So it'll look like this, except with all the values from the top here, from the JSON. And that's it, that's all I did. Let's take a look, let's run it, see how it goes. Uh, you do want a sample JSON to send in, so you can go ahead and copy this. Uh, actually, not this one, this one's not a good one. All the MPIs are the same. Uh, let me grab another one, let me grab it. I'll put the right one in there by the time you get this. I think it's my JSON trim. 
right here. This is the one you want. I'll put that in there, so don't even worry about that. So when you go, by the time you see this video, when you go in here, you'll have a, a list of provider data. And by the way, this is all public. If you go to NPI lookup, it's all public, so it's not like I'm doing anything, doing any PHI. Um, it's just a last name and NPI. This is both last name and NPI are public data. Um, so yeah, it's just a, the last name and NPI, and then that's it. So you can go ahead and copy this. When you get this channel, import the channel, copy, see what you're going to do is step one, and I'll put this in the instructions, import JSON to CSV channel. Step two, copy the inbound message template, right? So it's in your clipboard because you're going to send that message in to the channel. Once you deploy, deploy the channel. Send in JSON. So paste the inbound message template that you copied. And we'll do that right now. Okay. Cool. All right. So I already imported. I already have it. I just copied the message template and let's deploy the channel. So this is the message template right here. And I'm going to make sure you save it if you need to. I'm going to deploy the channel. It's this one right here. And I'm going to click send message and I'm going to paste, right? That's my step three. Deploy. Now step four is send in JSON, right? So this is what I'm going to either right click and paste or command V or control V, depending on if you have a Mac or PC. Paste that in there, however you need to, and click process message. And then let's go inside and take a look at the message. For me, it's message number three. So here's the raw data we sent in. You can see the transformation to delimited. And this is what it's encoded. Awesome. Now we're going to go down to destination. Sorry about the barking. My, someone's here. The dog goes nuts. Um, yep, here's the destination. And go to sent. And you can see your list of provider data. Yay! And if you copy this and go to Excel, you can just paste it right into Excel. Right? And now you can analyze your data in Excel. Comma delimited. And there we go. Now you have data you can analyze in Excel. And that's what I need to do. I need to analyze this data in Excel. And I only needed those pieces of data. So I hope this was helpful to you. I'll go ahead and put the link down below of the, of the channel so you can download the channel and you can follow these steps, right? Step five, see, sent. Yep, that's it. Right here, you go to destination and you click send radio button and then here's the CSV of information. You can do this with anything that you need to. Um, as long as you have the data in the JSON, you can always put it into CSV format. This one just has bare bones, but yep. So there's an in this is a very valuable and it's very useful, I think. And if you have a list of, whenever you have a list of something long, and you only need pieces of it, and it's and it's like a CSV or it's a JSON or it's an XML. You can always, always use MERF to transform that. Um, any any delimiter pipe CSV, any delimiter at all, you could do that with JSON with a MERF, and you could just use this channel and and uh, modify it. So I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.